Hello, it's me, Rod Quick again. This is part seven. Um, today I want to discuss a little bit more about faster than light speed space travel. Uh, I've been asked uh, numerous questions of how is faster than light speed space travel possible? Or why is it not possible? Well, to answer the, that question, you're talking about Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity says that te technically we cannot travel faster than the speed of light. Uh, fast and close to the speed of light means slowing down time and traveling into the infinite future, which means into the future. You know, uh, infinite means that unless the universe is destroyed we can keep going and going but uh, traveling faster than the speed of light also means time travel traveling backwards in time and uh, as a result um, you wouldn't want to go faster than the speed of light unless you wanted to go backwards in time now why is this not possible. Well, Einstein said so, for one, but he says we can change, we can change space around and since it's curves and, and stuff and uh, we can make it to where we can time travel. My discovery made my book, uh, Supertelic Electromagnetic Gravitational Universe Technology Theory, I illustrate the means of traveling faster than the speed of light on a basic concept with Einstein's theory. Um, if you go faster than the speed of light, you are violating special and general relativity. Uh, in my book, I explain that uh, it is possible and it's not actually uh, a violation. It's an extension. I call it an extension to relativity. Traveling faster than the speed of light is an extension. And, uh, see, Einstein based his theory on gravity. And the problem is, when you do that, and you try to say that something else is the same when it's not, then you have a problem. And that's where the problem arises. I don't know why he did not write more or why he, why he overlooked the, the matter of uh, principle, the idea of uh, the information coming from Isaac Newton, 1667, stating that uh, an object in motion will tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by some exterior force. Which we are talking about the absence of gravity. That's what we're talking about. An object traveling exempt from gravity will continue to travel. That's weightlessness. Yet, Einstein, with his theory on a, our planet as a gravity field, still assumed the concept that interstellar space and interstellar inter space, Earth's atmosphere were the same, and they are not. <laughs> uh, they are in the tense that you exempt gravity, yes, but our atmosphere has gravity. He states that it's a field. He states that it's gravity is actually a part of our atmosphere which uh, is t attracts to objects in motion. Well, I hate to say it, but gra uh, Einstein is wrong. You know, uh, gravity is not a field. It's not filled up with some type of energy as he leads people to believe. It's empty. It's filled with air, wind, rain, fire, oxygen, uh, everything needed for humane growth. Humane growth, yes. That's 
that's what we're talking about. So, Einstein is wrong. Now, you might say, well, if Einstein, Einstein can't be wrong, that's, that's gravity. No, it's not. And uh, I've actually even told you already why it's not, but in, the, in our short conversation, but it's going to be in my second book. I am wa waiting for a uh, patent on the formula. And when I get that back and a little bit more research, I will be uh, talking about more about what gravity actually is. Uh, time's running short. Uh, we're cut to about 13 minutes for each video. Uh, I hope you will subscribe, watch my videos. I'm sorry I cannot get into other parts right now. They're still in the research phase, uh, but my first book is Faster Than Light, Speed of Light. And because of these notations that I told you about Einstein being wrong, uh, they are in that book, and you will outwit your your professor if you're in some university or college uh, based on if you base everything in my book. But you have to understand that you have to go through the basics of what all my my uh, theory my theory is uh, based on. So a little bit involved until you understand that you cannot make those gestures. Thank you very much and. Keep an open mind. Thank you very much. Rod Coyke.